Hi guys, so I'm here to talk about the last parts of Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. Just like I expected, the main problem that I have with this book is that it's over. I absolutely adored this book, like so much more than I thought I was going to. When I found out that this was a book in verse, I was a little bit hesitant just because I've never read anything in verse before and I don't really read a lot of poetry and usually when I experience poetry I like it being read to me because then I feel like I understand the ideas and the emotions and things behind it more. When I'm reading it just on the page, I have a harder time sometimes comprehending it. So I was a little bit worried, but I absolutely adored the style and I felt like it gave the book and the stories in here so much more meaning and strength and effect. Uh, just loved it. I was thinking about the fact that I read this book and part of me was kind of wondering what this book would be like on audio. Obviously the effect would vary a little bit depending on who the actual reader was, but if they got someone who was really good at like spoken word poetry to read this book, I feel like it would just be even more phenomenal if that's even possible. It was really interesting to see Jacqueline Woodson's sort of process of growing up and just how she became to be a reader and writer mainly. It was really interesting to see her discover the power of words and just where her strength lies in terms of her own skills and talents. It was interesting to see her just sort of get lost in the world of stories. I liked the fact that they used the fact that her quote-unquote lies or stories that she made up actually was a benefit for the fact that later she would become a writer. And I also really liked the part where Jacqueline Woodson talks about how she was reading books that were lower than her reading level should have been at and how the reason why she gravitated towards towards those books is because she actually saw people who looked like her in those books and I thought that was really interesting because I think a lot about how we raise children in this world or in this society and things like that and I was thinking about how like we expect them to be at a certain standard and obviously there's a point to that like we need to encourage their development but at the same time kids sometimes just pick up the books that they're most interested in and if there's a book that's not very interesting to them they just won't care. If Jacqueline Woodson was to make a sequel to this book I would 1000 thousand percent pick it up and buy it. I would love to see just how her life continued to grow and how she continued to grow up and just how her views changed and her life changed and things like that. I found this just to be a fantastic way to learn about a person's life and to see how the world affected their experience and things like that. If you haven't picked up this book, again, I highly recommend it. Please pick it up. It's so good so good. So yeah, those are my quick thoughts on Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. Thanks again to the Reblog Book Club for picking this book because honestly, I don't think I would have picked this book up otherwise, or maybe I would have eventually, but this way forced me to pick it up and I'm so, so glad that I read it and I'm very excited to read more of her work. If you've read other Jacqueline Woodson books, please comment down below or, you know, comment on Tumblr and let me know what other books I could pick up from her if you have specific ones that you recommend. Otherwise, I'll just be, you know, like looking on Goodreads and reading whatever sounds interesting. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I have for now guys. Bye!